call in um, if they can. Not after um, the week they had this week. No, but let me just say, you know, they're a respect. I wouldn't even say call a respectable two and four. They're where we thought they were going to be last week. Coming into the week, they were two and two. There was this question mark. They were pretty good. They what this and that. But now they're two and four. Uh, you know, right there at the bottom with those uh, beef jerky guys with those jerky boys. Well, put it, and, put it uh, this way. Oh, they, by the way, I met Yossi. Yes, yeah, great guy. Oh, we do. I went to school with Yossi. I met him. Nice kid. Great kid. Nice kid. No, no, no. Unbelievable. Support, yes. support your sponsors, guys. Yeah, I said, send me some beef jerky. The guy's great. Yeah, he yeah, called yeah. in last oh, week. Oh, I didn't oh, know who it was. You gotta pay. You gotta pay. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's, I don't know. Right. He, he sends free to the show. Let's go again, to Again, um, he still got the teriyaki, the smoky, the garlic, and the whiskey. Uh, but again, anyways, what I was saying is. Yeah, um, money than anybody. Yeah. Let's, let's go to game two. This team got. Near, nearly mercy game one, 13 to 3, I think it was. Going to game two, they were a totally different team. Defense sharpened up, no errors. Um, game was 0 0 into the seventh inning. Quiet game. We were nervous. We thought we had a sweep in the bag after game one, but these guys didn't go away. Right. Top of the seventh. Neither team hit. 1 2 3 up. I bet, no, uh, 2 3 4. Michael, uh, I think Michael made out, I made out, Joe S, two outs, nobody on. Quiet, nothing doing, I'm sulking on the first base line for my out, the, the play before. Next thing you know, guy hits a shot right, a left center field. I don't know how the guy got a glove on it, but nearly caught it. Solo home run to take the lead, one nothing. Enough, that's all A.B. Cohen needed, he knew it. How's this kid, Ralph Sutton, pitching? He's good. He, he's got to throw first pitch strikes. He, he was behind on everybody. And 20 walks. He's got some speed. He's got one pitch. It's fast and slow. That's all it is. Right. But, he only uh, had one walk game one. I'll give, you, I'll give you one thing. He could feel this position very well. He made, I would say, over a dozen comeback at plays. So that, came, that, that uh, stood out to me a little bit. But he needs to throw more first pitch strikes in order to throw his heat, which could be effective. I think that, I mean, okay, so A.B. Cohen closed it out, bottom of the seventh, and and that was it. Next game. Remind you to say the whole bit. Thank you. And don't read it. I gotta remember later. Um, let's go to your game, Lou. Oh, well, I want to talk about this kid one second. He doesn't have so many walks. He's got eleven walks. It's, he's smart enough to know not the walk guy. It's not the walking issue. It's when you walk, when you throw ball one to every batter, right. you're gonna give up hits. It's not, you know, you, you fire away on first pitch. Change it up a little bit. Sure. Sure. Throw, throw a strike. Okay, so the, there's what, my tip what, to you. What we Ralph. thought. That what we thought was going to happen was Abe Coe taking a sweep, um, which our predictor uh, thought was called Pick Sweep City this week when he made the his author. prediction. The author. The author made Sweep City, so he was correct about that. Still, correct some that? De- still some debate about who the uh, author is. Let's take the call, Joe. First call of the day. Let's hope it's not your father. No, he's great, by the way. <laughs> BKS Show. Hello, David Cat. Oh, uh, D-Cat, how are you? I hope you're not calling for donation money for Maggie David. <laughs> I don't want donation money, I want collection. Okay. <laughs> what's, <laughs> what's doing, Dave? How are you? Steven here. Good, good. I heard you were talking about me on the show. I'm not really watching, just walked in from the office, so. Okay. Maybe said, call in. What's doing? Okay. We're talking about your leadership role on this team. How did, how, uh,. I was debating it, saying there might be some times where you got to pull yourself, but Stephen um, Stephen was proud to say that you were able to handle the captainship really responsible this week. What's your thoughts on taking over, uh, taking control of the team? You know, it, I, I think it's, it's not a matter of that we don't have any defensive liabilities on And the way that... I beg to differ. Differ. What? How about shortstop? Huh? How about shortstop? Sure, well, you know, we have no other no alternatives there. Right. So, we could trade Stephen Gindy for Ralph Cullen, maybe we'll consider it, but... Uh, <laughs> Nobody's laughing at <laughs> you, Dick. We really don't have any defensive Language. liability, so a lot of the parts that defensively are interchangeable. We have alternatives at second base, short center, right field, first base, so... You know, I went with the rotation, and it worked out fine. You know, we didn't, uh, I don't think we had any errors all day. Right. Did we see it? No, I thought it was an excellent, excellent game. Uh, we did it. We hit on the spot exactly what everybody thought would be. Good pitching, good defense, and timely hitting. I think that yeah. will, will take us as far as we can go this year. 
And also, you know what, as far as, you know, sitting and everything, I, I have no problem sitting more to me. Because right, the, most, the, the, the more splinters in your babble, the happier you are. Everybody be happy, everybody get their, their time, everybody on the team be positive. Yesterday was, okay, you know, was a shit. positive day. Dave, you led by example this week, and hopeful, hopefully it's a, a, lot, a lot more to come. Thanks for calling in, Dave. Okay, I'm, sick, I'm sick of guys saying all the right things. I'm tired of that. Nah, he's the captain. He's got all the right things. You need things. to ask the right questions. You ask right. the boring questions. Okay. I would talk about his mental capa capacity after the show from two years so ago. So, where were you? Why didn't you ask the question? Uh, you guys talk too much. Exactly. Okay. Let's anyway. drop the game. Guys are waiting to hear the game. Let's talk about uh, Lou. You probably don't remember a thing about your game. Well, I know we won two. You won two. Who'd you play? Stop and go versus YBJ, the beef jerky. Oh, the beef jerky boys, beef jerky man. Right. The other end of the, the other end of the spectrum with the trade. Yes. You look like you took them nine four and seven zero. It wasn't. Tell that me close. a little bit about it. It's, it sounds like I seven. saw. I saw Victor. I knew you guys swept. First of all, I knew you guys swept from Saturday night. But with that being said, I saw Victor Busso in a restaurant Victor, Sunday night. Victor is in a happy. The guy <laughs> was miserable. <laughs> I think, he, I think he ordered everything on the menu because how depressed he was. <laughs> then he's telling me, oh my god, he, he just wants, he's, he's so upset, he doesn't even know what to do. Well, he, first of all, he's, he can't... tells me, these guys, Jeffrey Gindy and ABH, they're your friends. It's I love them. Let me see. Oh, he goes, how do you let a trade like that happen? Crying. Enough of this crap The guy was, guy was going enough crazy. Enough of this crap already. He's a, he's, he's a veteran. This guy should be leading his team. That's sulking on the side. What I just I'm say? Sick say I'm, I'm sick of you saying all the right things. The problem with Victor is he just got married, so all of a sudden he's now knocked down two notches and he has no more confidence to take over and he take care of himself because he's married. He, he was, was more single. involved in our game than he was if in If he were game. single, he would be happy. Now, Victor is dying to get traded. Yeah. Dying to get dying. traded. Dying. But also, they're not using Victor correctly. Yeah. Victor is their best infielder. He's catching. And he, well, he's, when he's not catching, he should be in the infield. The he, man is their best infielder. They had him on the bench in the second game, just hitting and not fielding. Well, the guy asking for trades uh, during the week, what do you expect? Right. You going to give the guy a short stuff? I don't understand. Uh, uh, I would just handle it. Enough with the sulking. Vic, you, you're one of the better infielders players in the league. You're all-around athlete. you you got to start stepping up already. You know what I Stop have to say? Stop crying and lead these guys. This team is 1-5. They won one game because Hashem was with them one day. Ralph Cohen yeah, still sure batting. Right. Ralph <laughs> Cohen is still batting 706. He's the He's so good, this guy. He's the only He's unbelievable, this guy. He's an unbelievable hitter. He doesn't need men on base. He doesn't need anything. He's just I, I, for his sake, I hope he goes over this week, brings his batting average down, and Jeffrey and ABH think all of a sudden he sucks. Just so that they could trade him. They've been trying because to trade him. This guy is unbelievable. And they mentioned last week, by the way, and I want to apologize publicly to Ralph, because we mentioned last week about some sort of a fielding error that might have been. It wasn't who Ralph that costed them the game. So if we did bother or upset you, Ralph, in any which way, I personally apologize. Here's the deal, but with that being said, the guy's batting 706 on the worst team. He's, he, he, nothing phases him, except the fact that he has nobody on his team. It's, it's, I feel bad for Ralph that. That's all I is the best pure hitter in the league. Fact. <laughs> my opinion. Do we do this every week? I'm giving you my opinion, and it hasn't changed. The problem is there's nobody else to protect him. So we don't have, if we, the game was close, and it wasn't. A.B. Hittery is a, a, a very good hitter. Uh, okay. If the game was is close, well, we he would not. It? He's, he's, he's in, a little on the side. Excuse me. Grandfather talking. If the game was close, right. <laughs> if the game was close, we wouldn't pitch to Ralph Cohen. There'd be no reason to. But the game wasn't close, so we pitched him. Right. But I mean, he is. Let, let him show up to the field for some. He is a wicked hitter. No, the, the nothing. Hitter. Nathan would throw all the crap he has, and there's nothing he can't. You can't get a fastball by him, and there's nothing he can't hit. So he's a very tough. Yeah. Tell me, what do you think, what ha What was the difference, you guys faced the same pitcher two weeks in a row, what was the difference this week and last week? It was, it, it's not like he pitched better, we just hit him, that's all. He, just he was a very effective last week, and I can tell you why he was effective last week, tell me why he wasn't effective this week. Last week, I can't get, I was there 80, both games, I have no opinion. 80% of the time, we, we had 